Okay, so there's another new platform that's made by Stake.com, the unregulated crypto casino headquartered in Curacao in a small hut. Hell yeah. Actually, it's a nice hut. Let's, I, we've corrected the record on that. Right, 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 right. Recently painted. Recently painted. Pretty nice hut. Crispy. It's like a studio home. Maybe like 500 square feet. It looks small, but... I think it's a one... It, more like, it looked more like a one-bedroom to me than a studio. One-bedroom? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. Like 800 to... Cer certainly enough to feet. run a billion-dollar company out of uh -huh, yeah. enough space there. Yeah, so Aiden Ross and Trainwreck, the two guys who are getting paid care. the most money from Stake.com to promote a unregulated crypto gambling to their fans, are now being paid from by Stake.com to promote... Kick.com, which is just like a total fucking reskin of Twitch. But this should tell you how much money they stand to gain from doing this. Like, this is so pathetically obvious what they're doing. It's There's just so much money. It's like they don't even have a choice. They're like, okay, I'm banned. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a new website. How much do I need to pay you, Aiden Ross, to switch over? He's like, yo, Twitch is my home. Okay, $5 million a month. Oh, kick.com, baby. Done. Because you know it's like that. And I'm not exaggerating. There was leaked text of Aiden saying he makes $2 million a month from stake.com. $2 million! I'm going to kick this week. Um, I'm going to be doing Omegle, watching live sports. Watching movies. Illegal, illegal. Prank phone calls. Potentially Doing illegal, depends on the state. Unlimited, we can literally watch porn together. I could jerk off with you. No, no, I'm still celibate. But if I wanted to, we could do whatever the fuck we want. There's no terms of service over there. You guys- That's not, that's not, that's not the brag you think it is. <laughs> there are no- this website doesn't even basically exist. <laughs> There's no terms of service. They make no claims about what they do with your data, how they share your personal information, or even if they'll pay you at all for subs. <laughs> There's no contract. It's awesome. I can say whatever you want in my chat. Nobody can that can't be true. There's got to be a terms of service. On kick.com. That cannot be true. There's just no terms of service? That seems fucking insane, dude. <laughs> terms of service over there. You guys can say whatever you want in my chat. Nobody can get fucking banned. If you listen. Nobody's getting banned. You can say whatever you want. Awesome, bro. Oh, and out. they do, because it's just full of like N-word and slurs and stuff, right? I saw I, a picture of his chat and it was just. Let's see, apparently. Okay, so they do have a terms of service. Oh, this is community guidelines. <laughs> okay, so hold up the phone here, Aiden. I think you got to check these. General restrictions. Kick prohibits activities and materials that are harmful, deceptive, offensive, or illegal. I think deceptive. Wow, you can't even be offensive on kick.com. What the fuck? You literally can't Who even offend that? anybody. They're not going to. No offensive speech whatsoever. No hateful speech. Okay, that's half of our... Right. Our users. It, it's just a fact, in my opinion. Here it says, you cannot viol violate our terms of service. What terms of service? Oh, interesting. What terms of service? You cannot copyright... You cannot... Stream copyrighted material. This man just said he's going to stream the whole fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> that's not copyrighted, right? That's that's public domain. The Super Bowl. He says you can't do nudity. This man just said he'd jerk off for you. Yep. Involve in or promote fraud, scam, or deception. See, that is a little that ironic. That is shocking that this is on this list. <laughs> but this is the core business model right here. You cannot defame others. Yeah, well, I know no for a fact that the owner of this website, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they cannot, you can't operate lotteries or sweepstakes. Bro, you're talking about yourself. Look in the mirror. <laughs> what? No doxing. No misinformation. No, no fake news. No Russian propaganda. They're just like every other site, dude. It's literally.
They just don't have mods. Okay, let's read copyrighted because this gets really good. So Aiden Ross legit live streamed the Super Bowl. The most popular broadcast every year in America that people, the whoever broadcasts it pays billions of dollars for the right to broadcast it. Their top user, Aiden Ross, live streamed the fucking whole Super Bowl <laughs> to 110,000 viewers. Why does it lie? This is insane. This is fucking insane. It, it's also mentioned in their terms of service that you can't do that as well. Alan, Not according to Aiden Ross. You gotta highlight it right here. Hopefully, Why does it lie? Hopefully in the coming um, depositions, they'll play that clip of Aiden Ross being like, there's no terms of service. We can watch movies. We could watch the Super Bowl. Maybe they'll Bowl. use it as a defense. I mean, plead that he's well, a moron. If he if they have communications of them telling him that, then that's not going to look good for them. Here's the terms of service. Okay, we found it. There are terms of service. Should I send this to Aiden? Should I send this a, him a picture of this? If you could scroll down to two point two and send him that. Quite extensive. I might add. There's a massive terms of service. It's so There's so much that it's like lagging the browser. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It might be the single biggest terms of service we've yet seen. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. It's just not what you said in your video. So you have to, so do you think it says in connection, you have to have the written consent of each and every identifiable person to use their content. Surely he has the written consent of the NFL. And all of the individual players at that. Hmm. <laughs> Every single one. The coaches. What about the Eds? Yeah, no, he got those two. He got uh, John Travolta and Kiss. He has and, an extensive uh, IP team, Aiden Ross. Hmm. The whole department. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know how this doesn't lead to them being f absolutely fucked. Streaming the Well, Super you got to... You got to find them. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, it's so true. But here's the thing. I'm getting sued by CavCav for streaming, for not even, well, I didn't even stream it. I watched a clip of it. And now they're suing me because there was an unlisted video with like, I don't know, 50 views or something from us doing research. So I do think that Aiden Ross can be sued individually for this. This isn't just a... Actually, I think he is solely responsible for streaming this because right. there's this law that prevents uh, publishers. For publishers from being held accountable from what people put on them. Right. So, <laughs> I actually... I think there's a good chance he gets sued for this. Well, he said it's copy-pasted from Twitch TOS. <laughs> is it really just I, Twitch I TOS? <laughs> you can Somebody in the chat said that. That would be really funny if so. They're not going to. Train wreck. Which, which is too restrictive. I'm going to kick where they don't have any they TOS have except for the copy pasted TOS from Twitch. Yeah, the good thing about kick is they don't enforce it. Here's Trainwreck also streaming the Super Bowl. I'd love to see them get sued, to be honest. That'd be awesome. The damages on that's got to be insane. 110,000 viewers. That's going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, I don't know for a fact how likely it is, but the NFL definitely has a reputation of like being very, very protective, protective and, of the copyright. So it doesn't seem out of the question at the all. The thing is, I don't think they would care if it was like 300 or even maybe even 3,000, but 110,000 people watching a live stream. That's nuts. I think NFL, if you are watching this, get after them. I'm tired of being sued for bullshit. This is actual copyright infringement. Thank you. They're not going to. <laughs> we'll see about that. It, it's just a fact in my opinion. Just a fact in your opinion. Got it. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's taken from the Twitch TOS, but actually I am now picking up on the fact that... Uh, it probably is just like a template. I'm seeing certain like phrasings, although I guess contracts sometimes do this. Like deep down in it, they're just referring to it as oh, the company. Shit. Like almost as if it's supposed to be like find and replace. You're supposed to put your company name there. 
dude, this is insane. So Austin Ox has been tracking this. So apparently you cannot ban or censor stuff because it's like free speech. Apparently that'd be, you know. Well, that'd probably be... can't show the chat then. No, 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 I can't. Or here, I'll just make it really small. So, Or here, I'll just put it like this. And I don't think you could read it, but. Yeah, so it's just a ton of racial, or fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Help me, Ian. Do something. <laughs> let's just not let's not have it on the screen. How about that? Yeah. So it's just a ton of racial slurs. It says Kai is an R wordist spam. Oh, they have. Why the fuck does a swastika have an emoji? Like, wait. There's like a built-in one. It did, bro, look at this screenshot. There's a straight up people what? are spamming swastikas as one character. You Check it out. Stop dissing the Nazis all the time. Is there a Unicode? There might be a Unicode. There's, I'm guessing it's a Unicode one. Unicode in, one. Indian one. Right, a, and I think it's just Indian. generally disallowed, turned off on most places, but they don't care. They Stop allow Stop dissing it. the Nazis all the time. So people are spamming uh, swastikas. They're saying they're spamming the N-word as he's sitting there with his black friends, calling them the N-word. Um... Great. Train wreck. Okay, so here's train wreck who's now switched to kick. This guy, how this guy has any fans is a fucking mystery to me. Train wreck acknowledges the issue kick has with fake viewers counts and the number of 15 to 20K. Make sure that I'm he, transferring with you guys. And he's then looking to find a fix. Stuff like. Well, I mean, I think the fix is you stop. You turn off the uh, fake view counts. That's, <laughs> that's the fix. What, what other fix is there? To <laughs> I'm that? trying to see. How do we stop these? <laughs> I don't know how to stop these fake views on this website I'm deeply involved in. Shit. <laughs> and this view botting stuff, like, you know, I'm pressing for that as well, even though I get heat for even speaking about it, right? But that's like, the, that's what it is. Like, I'm going to speak about it because at the end of the day, when I attach my name to something, you know, I'm going to make sure that I'm transparent with you guys and I tell you guys what's good and what we're working on and what we're going to try and fix. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's like, I'm sorry. This guy is a fucking psychotic freak. He is a, I, I he seems, he strikes me as like a high functioning psychopath. He, he has no moral compass. He'll say and do anything to justify his disgusting involvement. He's fully in bed with steak.com. This man is a fucking sellout. Both in spirit and in uh, tangible money and soul. Bro, like realistically, I'm gonna keep it a buck. But right, like. Yo, I used to just say, dude, I'm bringing it, the truth to the management here. They don't even, they get mad when I even bring up the fact that there's bots. But I do it anyway, bro. Uh, thanks for the two million. Yeah, keep the checks coming. I do it anyway, man. But they fucking hate my guts for it. Yeah, three million, please. I'll put it in my bank. I'll take the, the direct deposit. Yeah, they hate me over here. But I love you guys. If this dude view bought it two to three K viewers, I might just say fuck it. I don't give a fuck. But when you're viewing fifteen to twenty fucking thousand viewers a day to push predatory gambling styles to the top, I don't like that. So I'm gonna ask you to uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, find a fix for that as soon as possible. Especially since my name is attached to it and since I'm, you know, pretty much at the, at this moment, the face of it. So it's like, uh, you know, it's just tough because he's literally in an ivory tower. He's like on the top floor of a giant, <laughs> beautiful, modern building, looking down at the peasantry. <laughs> so awesome. Why does it lie? Oh, oh, <laughs> this is interesting. Beautiful. Jake Lucky, I asked an attorney about Aiden Ross streaming the Super Bowl and if he could be sued. Well, we all know the answer to that, but let's hear it from yeah, a lawyer. Yeah, attorney for that. But he's like, actually, it's totally legal. Anyone can rebroadcast one hundred percent. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Jake, attorney Tom here. So I saw last night a couple of big streamers rebroadcasting the Super Bowl in real time to hundreds of thousands of people. Their justification for these actions was that their new streaming website didn't have a term or condition. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these people are fucking dumb. Dumb. So dumb.
Oh, that wasn't even steak. It was Dual Bits that was paying him two million. And he's so sorry. The correction: Dual Bits was offering Aiden Ross two million dollars a month in a leaked conversation. He turned them down because he wasn't enough money to compete with what Steak was offering him. Oh, prohibited. So it was yeah. even more than that. Yeah. So it's even more than that. Huh. It's such actions, but th there's a big problem with that. It is still copyright infringement. It doesn't matter what the terms or conditions were on that particular platform because the NFL is the one who owns the copyright. So unless they got permission from the NFL <laughs> to restream the game in real time, that is likely copyright infringement with damages in the millions yeah. and millions yeah. and millions of dollars. Yes. The only hope that these streamers have is that the NFL does not pursue legal action because if they do, You're they fucked. could be in real trouble. Yeah, they're, this is what, Cav, Cav, please, this is what real copyright infringement looks like. And they are mega fucked if NFL pursues legal action. Tom here, and so in I a way, I hope they do, because these guys need to fucking a reality check. These dudes really think they can do anything on the internet they want with no repercussions, and so far they've been right. The two of these guys. They're not going to. Steak was probably like, we'll cover it. We're made of money, dude. We'll send them some fucking ETH and call it a day.